Hi, here's Arne from Königsmark again. And uh, this time I would like to show you um, the People Motion plugin, release 2, and um, especially about the uh, path objects we have. So everything that's needed to control the walking paths and the actions the characters will show. So I'm using again a different type of character this time um, downloaded from render people. So that's also supported directly supported type of character rigs and getting the PIM controller again, spotting the hip joint, linking this to the hip field, choosing render people, loading and constraining and then switching over to animate and basically that's all for the setup part. So from here we can start to animate the character basically. So you can see that we have this default walking animation. I'm just adding a couple of frames here. So whenever the character moves, it just walks away in a straight line given from the orientation of the controller. So by rotating the controller or repositioning the controller course you can place your characters in your scene wherever you like them to be. And from here the character will just walk away in a straight line in the direction of the negative z-axis. So from here we can do some manipulation. So for instance we could add a stair object. So bringing the stairs over here, just moving them away a little bit maybe and they are a little bit too big. So um, we have some values here for the number of steps, for the height of the uh, staircase, so I'm reducing this a little bit also bringing this a little bit closer together and maybe the entrance part is also a little bit too big so this would be maybe a useful staircase so what do we have to do to make the character actually walk up the stairs that's very simple as you can see here we have a link field for characters and character would be our PIM control object. So if we had play now, the character will center itself to the staircase, walk up the stairs and uh, let me just add another bunch of frames so we can actually see the character leaving the staircase again. So that's moving up the stairs. You can also switch this to be an escalator. So it's simple as that. You can see that the character will drive upward with the escalator and then move away. And we can have an elevator as well. So for this we have to actually animate the position of the uh, elevator, which is this parameter here, but uh, basically works exactly the same. So we can have this walk through elevator, so you can leave the elevator on the back side or you can leave it on the front side. Maybe we have to increase the height a little bit more to actually w reach the ne next uh, store. and. Uh, yeah, basically you just do the same thing, press play, the character will walk in, turn around and uh, then you can start to animate, maybe uh, depends on how fast 
the elevator should be. I'm just moving ahead 50 frames, animating the elevator position, and that's all you have to do. So the character will walk in, turn around, the elevator will move up, and the character will move out of the elevator again. So uh, you actually even can link an elevator object here. So uh, in case you have um, modeled an elevator booth here, so to move up and down, uh, this will be animated as well. So I'm switching off the thing and move back to the stairs just to show you another one of the path manipulators, for instance, the curve object. So I'm maybe rotating this 100 deg degrees. So this is basically just a curve and uh, bending this to the other direction, maybe 100 or maybe just 90 degrees, something like this. And again, you could just link the character here, but you can also link this to any other pass object we already have. So this could be the stair object, for instance. So if we have a bunch of characters already animated, you don't have to link them all one by one. Uh, it makes it even easier for more complex setups. So I'm just adding another curve here, placing this over here maybe. This one has again also the stairs linked to it and I'm using uh, another stair copy, just uh, clearing out the character slot. I'm linking the first stair object to it and bringing this up to the second floor. That's too high. Would be over here. And uh, turning this or whatever you like. You, this way the character would walk down again. Maybe we use this to keep this a little bit more compact and bring the curves a little bit down. And of course we would have to add again a couple of new frames because the character will need more time to actually travel this far. So the second stair should be the same level as the first one to make sense. So let's see if this works. The character will move up this first staircase, then take the curve, move straight again, take the second curve and walk down the stairs. So it's easy like that to really do complex character animations with people motion release too.